everyone welcome back to my channel it's Julie from live and large on lifetime and I'm super excited because today I'm doing a collaboration video that you guys are gonna love I was asked by America from the sassy mom 82 to do a video and a challenge on a zero smart point day on Weight Watchers freestyle yes you guys know if you watch my channel that I have always loved the zero smart point foods even before freestyle and now I love freestyle so we're here to show you that it's absolutely possible to have a completely zero smart point day on Weight Watchers freestyle and yet still be fully satisfied and still have a lot of really good nutritious healthy foods so it's an absolutely doable challenge as you know Weight Watchers does not encourage you to do only zero smart points foods throughout the duration of your weight loss program however there are days when it's absolutely called for maybe you splurged a little bit the day before or maybe you're saving points and calories for something Fun that's coming up this weekend um, there are just days when it feels good to have a zero smart point day I know that I actually love the zero smart point foods so a zero smart point day is not totally out of the norm for me I actually save my smart points for things that I enjoy like um, eating out adult beverages occasional sweets so sometimes it is fun to do a totally zero smart point day and plan for other things so I'm gonna show you guys how I do a zero smart point day don't forget to check out the other ladies in the collaboration I am doing this with America from the sassy mom 82 Weight Watchers with Carrie and is for nurse and becoming Alexa so I will have all those channels listed down below if you guys would like to try a zero smart point day as well you definitely want to check out the other channels for ideas and inspiration and I'm just super excited to show you what can be done on Weight Watchers freestyle for zero smart points so let's get out of here step into the kitchen with me and I'm gonna take you on my zero smart point day okay my beverages that I have throughout the workday are always the same and I always prep them in the morning so here I just have a Keurig k-cup which is the great value morning blend coffee for zero smart points and I always add one tablespoon of dairy star fat free half and half for zero smart points so my coffee is zero points and then about midway through the day I always have some tea I brew it in the morning and let it steep for several hours and then I add ice when I'm ready to drink it and today the tea I'm using is the teamy bloom it is one tablespoon inside my tea tumbler for zero smart points so my beverages are zero smart points okay I do work outside of the house Monday through Friday so I take all of my food in the morning and then I prepare it while I'm at work so I'll show you guys what I'm taking and then I'll show you a picture of everything once it's plated and ready to eat this is my breakfast for zero smart points so I'm starting with the Mott's unsweetened applesauce for zero smart points and then this is a spaghetti squash egg cup that I prepped earlier this week it is basically um, spaghetti squash which is zero small points mixed with fat-free shredded cheddar probably about a tablespoon in that serving so that is zero smart points and then I also have some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning and a bit of egg inside the spaghetti squash mixture blend that up and put it in muffin cups and then you cook that first then you drop an egg into the center of the spaghetti squash cup and that is of course zero smart points and bake it for another little while if you guys would like to see how I made those check out my video from January 29th where I walk you through all of the steps so basically the spaghetti squash egg cup is um, zero points <laughs> so this is my breakfast this morning for zero points okay here's my zero point lunch for today so this here is a combination of sauteed yellow squash Brussels sprouts and then I have some chicken chunks some diced chicken that I cooked in the air fryer and all of that is seasoned with everything but the bagel sesame seasoning from Trader Joe's so all of this is zero smart points I'm going to heat this up in the microwave and then I'm going to add a poached egg on top I do my poached eggs in the microwave um, it's a little tricky so you gotta practice but um, you just crack it in water in the cup and then 
cook it in the microwave for about 55 minutes to a minute and 10 seconds, depending on your microwave. So I will cook that in the microwave and then put it on top of this mixture here. And then the last thing I have is some fat-free feta cheese. So I will add a tablespoon, about an ounce of fat-free feta cheese for zero smart points. And that is my zero smart point lunch for today. So my snack for today is gonna be a banana butterscotch parfait. So I started with a half cup of this Chobani plain non-fat Greek yogurt. A half a cup is zero smart points. And then I added a half tablespoon of this Jell-O butterscotch sugar-free fat-free pudding mix. A half tablespoon is zero smart points. So that is what is mixed here in the container. What I'm gonna do is slice up the banana top it with the butterscotch yogurt, and then just a sprinkling of cinnamon. So that is my zero smart point snack for today. Okay, I also decided I'm going to add some of this Walden Farms caramel dip to the top of my yogurt parfait. So I'm just gonna drizzle this right on top and then add the cinnamon. This is zero smart points for Walden Farms caramel dip. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I am making a lemon scallop pasta with capers, and I will be using spaghetti squash for the pasta. So here are all of my ingredients. I have pre-cooked spaghetti squash here because I usually just cook, cook up a large spaghetti squash and then I leave it in the refrigerator for the week to use in different recipes. So spaghetti squash is zero smart points. I have about three ounces of scallops here. We usually just keep a big bag in the freezer, so these are scallops that are zero smart points. I will be using some minced garlic for zero smart points. Here are the capers. I'll be using two tablespoons, zero smart points. I will be using some chicken broth. One cup is zero smart points. I'm going to be using both the lemon juice and the zest of lemon for zero smart points. A little bit of fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to be using just one tablespoon of the Pinot Grigio white wine. Instead of adding it to the sauce and reducing it, I'm going to add it at the end of the sauce so we get just the flavor of the white wine without getting any of the points. So that way we can use just a little bit of the white wine. And then I'm going to use these dark heirloom cherry tomatoes and some cilantro. All zero smart points. Okay, the first thing I'm doing here is just sauteing the scallops until they are browned on both sides. I am just sauteing them in a little bit of light cooking spray. Okay, in the same pan, I've got just about a tablespoon of garlic. Actually, sorry, a teaspoon of garlic and a little bit of the chicken broth. So we're just going to get some of the bits from the scallops scraped from the bottom of the pan and let the garlic cook up for just a minute. Okay, now I've got the rest of the chicken broth in here, the lemon juice and lemon zest, and the capers. So I'm just gonna let this um, reduce down just a little bit, and then we're gonna add a tablespoon of white wine, and then the sauce is ready to go. Okay, I have tossed the pasta or the spaghetti squash together with the grape tomatoes and the sauce that I just made, the lemon caper sauce. So last step is to plate it up and just put the scallops right on top. Okay, and here is the finished dish. I actually tossed the cilantro in with the spaghetti squash and the cherry tomatoes and put the scallops on top and it's ready to go. That is so beautiful looking and I'm super excited to eat it. It is all zero smart points. My beverage tonight is actually a squirt mojito. So I have some lemon juice and some muddled lime inside the cup of ice and then I have just poured squirt on top, diet squirt. So all of that is zero smart points. So my squirt mojito is zero smart points my scallops with lemon caper sauce over spaghetti squash is zero smart points and that's the end of my awesome zero smart point day you guys the possibilities with freestyle now are endless the possibilities for having and enjoying a totally zero smart point day are literally 
endless. There are so many amazing, delicious foods that are zero smart points on freestyle. I hope you guys enjoy taking a look into my zero smart point day. And don't forget to check out the other ladies listed down below for more ideas. I hope you all are having as much fun with freestyle as I am. Please comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye.